We're being joined for morning coffee by a young woman with a remarkable story. Connor Boss has been president of her high school senior class and captain of the cheerleading squad, and now she's the first legally blind contestant to compete in the Miss Florida USA pageant. When she was eight years old, she was diagnosed with a disease that causes progressive vision loss, but she hasn't let that slow her down one little bit. Connor, good morning. Great to see morning. you. Good morning. Thank you for having Great me. Great to have you with us. Let's start with your vision here. I'm told it's 2,426. 600, right? Yes. So people always come up to you and say, what can you see right now? What's what's it like? What's your vision like? Uh, well, Stargardt's affects the retina, so I don't have central vision. Looking straight at you, I see a figure, but I'd have to look to the side. And still then, I wouldn't be able to tell you any specific features. But it's a lot better. It's better, yeah. Right. So, so what inspired you then to go into pageantry? Pageants, it was really just a whim. Just I wanted to try it with my friends, and it looked fun. And it's not any sort of sport that involves a ball coming at me, so <laughs> it was easy to just jump into. Not that easy, though. I mean, you have to learn dance moves, and, I, I mean, just getting around the stage has to be, to some degree, daunting. Uh, well, you know, with experience, you, you just learn to overcome that. So I count my steps. I pray to God that I get down those stairs okay. And then beyond that, everything's good. <laughs> but look at your resume. Here you are, 18 years old. You've been president of your senior class, captain of the cheerleading squad. You ran track. You had a 4.2 GPA. 4.0 used to be good <laughs> enough, but apparently not for a you. A plus plus. Right. So it doesn't sound to me like many challenges really phase you, do they? Well, I like to push myself in everything that I do. So not a lot of challenges, except driving. <laughs> <laughs> do you drive? No way. Okay. No. All right. Just, just I confirming have tried, that. I have but that's, yeah, we're not going to talk about that. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, when it comes to those challenges and just your overall attitude about everything is possible, how big of a weight do you feel as a role model to other young women? Well, with all this attention, that I'm really glad that I can inspire people. I've been getting all sorts of emails and messages saying that in, uh, it's different circumstances, too. It might not be, I'm legally blind, I have star guards. It's, I tried to launch a business and it didn't work, but you've inspired me to try again. So it's really been awesome. Wow. For you're me. going to Florida State this fall, and I know you're excited. What are your plans? What do you want to major in? What do you want to be? What do you want to do? I know I sound like a grown up here. <laughs> well, right now, public relations, but being here, I'm really intrigued by all of this stuff. So maybe something in media. Uh huh. What was the most difficult thing? in preparing for pageants that you faced? Pageants? Um, dieting. <laughs> really? You I, diet? I don't like dieting. But Stop yes, it. that is the, the biggest part. Really? No what? What'd you cut out? Well, not a lot of carbs, not a lot of sweets. You really gotta, you know, get into shape, <laughs> look good. Egg whites, protein shakes, so. No kidding. Well, you've done, you done good. You did well. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.